Is your tactical pen allowed on a plane? Can you carry it in your pocket, in your backpack, in a carry-on, while going through TSA checkpoints? Watch this video. I'll tell you what a TSA thinks about it and I'll give you my five tips that will help you to stay out of trouble. Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm the founder of the Atomic Bear Company. Our company is making tactical pens and today I would like to address one of the most frequently asked questions from our fans and supporters. Welcome to the Atomic Bear channel. If you like this type of content, please cl click on the subscribe button and on the little bell so this way you'll be notified every Thursday when our new video comes out. Just so that you know, I'm not a lawyer, so anything that will be discussed in this video is just for entertainment purposes. I'm not giving any legal advice. I want to clarify one thing. It is all right to carry your tactical pen in your luggage as long as it's che checked in. So you don't, you're not having it with you when you go through to uh, security. This way, there's, like, you won't have any issue. That's the best way to carry a knife, a tactical pen, or anything that is actually allowed on your checking luggage. Now, the challenge is, if you want to go through TSA checkpoints with your tactical pen, then you uh, will have to uh, just show everything in your bag and potentially uh, have some issues if you're found having your tactical pen. So here's what the TSA thinks about t uh, tactical pen. They have a list of prohibited items and you can find the link in the description. Uh, but basically this list will give you uh, all sort of objects that are not allowed, including some sort of uh, volume liquids um, or uh, some sort of, uh, you know, a knife, obviously. They will describe cubaton. They won't mention tactical pen. So the question comes, can I bring my tactical pen on a plane? So the answer is that if the TSA finds something that looks like something that could hurt somebody else, or can be used uh, for defense or even attack, uh, they will per they will take it out of your luggage. We sold uh, for more than fifty thousand tactical pens in the last uh, one, uh, the last year only in the USA. So we just know that you know this is something that happens time to times. It's very unfortunate. Now the question comes: Can you have more severe, m more uh, larger penalties, and can you get into trouble if you carry your tactical pen through security and someone finds out? No, no, chill. Yes. Um, there is a code there, there's a list of sanction for prohibited items and, and also prohibited behaviors. And there's also a link in the description below toward that PDF document that the TSA is uh, giving um, on their website. But basically you can look at uh, the dollar amounts for an individual uh, being found, you know, trying to break a rule or law. And you, you can see uh, if the amounts like 5,000, one to 5,000 dollars in the lower range of the sanctions and it goes up. And also think that if you are cited to go in court, you'll have to defend yourself. You have to potentially hire a lawyer. So a lot of fees that can be engaged. So just say, just know that the TSA uh, has a lot of power. They have the power to um, get a lot of money from you uh, to just give you a lot of trouble. Bottom line is most of the time, what will happen to you unless you're crazy and, and do stupid things um, will be that your tactical pen will be taken from you. If you have a criminal record or you have some records related to, this, the, um, to trying to go through security and passing some sort of objects there that were not allowed and you got into a little bit of trouble, just don't bother. Just don't try to pass any tactical pen or any other things in your bag. Don't take a chance. Okay, let's get started. What are the five tips that I've been following when traveling in Canada, United States, Mexico and across Europe that never got me into trouble? Tip number one. Place your tactical pen with other pens or in your purse or anywhere where it's natural to put a pen. This way, it doesn't look suspicious. The worst thing to do is to try to conceal it into, by wrapping it into an aluminum foil, putting it in a um, metallic box. Because this way, if someone opens your, 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 um, your bag and find this, you might be found trying to conceal a weapon. This is a bad idea. Tip number two. Is your tactical pen looking like it's out of a Transformers movie? Does it look like really tactical or maybe not even like a pen? Well, if this is the case, you're increasing the chances of, ha of having someone uh, opening your bag and checking. And this is often what ha when someone opens a bag and check, this is when you lose your pen. So make sure that your tactical pen just look like a pen, not like a tactical pen, if possible. Hey, let's do a quick fun survey here. Uh, in the comments below, just write your answer. 
Are you willing to carry your tactical pen on a plane or are you going to, going to leave it in your checked in luggage? Tip number three, some tactical pens um, give the ability to unscrew the, um, the, uh, the edge, the sharp edge of the pen so that you could potentially remove it from the pen, either put it in a different pocket or even let, let it in your, um, in your uh, checked in luggage so you still have your pen on you. Um, so, like a uh, pen like um, you know the MTP6 pen that from our line of pen allow you to do that. Um, that could be a good idea to just uh, make sure that your pen doesn't have this potentially dangerous uh, part on it. You can always assemb assemble it past the checkpoints. Um, other pens like our swap pen will have a cap that you can put back uh, either in the writing end or onto the impact end. So you can always put the cap on the impact end and I hope that the image that the um, security person will see through their x-rays will just look normal. Tip number four, if someone opens your bag and asks you, um, what is this? You just have to, to be totally honest and direct with the, the person asking, asking you these questions. You know, there's no point at lying at this, at this stage uh, this is just your ink pen that you're planning to use. Um, the next question could be, is this a tactical pen or is, why is this um, part of the pen like sharp or is, could it be used for, uh, to defend yourself or anything? You just say, yes, this is my tactical pen. And uh, depending on who is asking you the question, who is, who is examining your bag, some will let you go with it. Some other people will uh, just confiscate it and um, uh, let you go without it, which is pretty unfortunate. But you know, so just be honest, be direct with the, um, the security agent when he asks you the questions. And if they get a bit upset about you carrying this pen, um, you can always play dumb, play dumb because um, like honestly, we all forget stuff in our bag. And I've been guilty of uh, forgetting a knife in my bag and felt very bad about it because I ended up losing my, bat my, my knife. Uh, which is fair because, you know, uh, going through security, you don't want to have anybody uh, carrying knives with them, which I totally respect. But, you know, your tactical pen can be uh, eventually uh, be confiscated. So let it go. Um, you know, that's um, part of the game. Tip number five. The worst thing that you can do is being, be, being be resisting or being, um, you know, insulting the agent or like just getting moody and upset and just... Uh, when this happened um, because this is when people get into real trouble so you don't you you want to be sad about your pen going if it has to um, but but don't insult anybody don't be a res don't resist uh, just apo be apologetic and re like realize that they do have the power in that in that moment even though you might disagree or whatever like just let it go don't make it a big thing to recap um, you've, we've seen that tactical pens are not totally allowed by the TSA. Actually, they will take to take, they will try to take them away from you if they can. Um, the good thing is that this is still just a pen, so you have a good chance to be able to go through security with your pen. And we both know that this is not something that will be dangerous, uh, uh, immensely dangerous um, um, for a massive attack. You know, it's not a knife, it's not a gun, it's nothing like that. Uh, but it can still be used for self-defense. So um, just be realistic that there's a chance. It never happened to me though, although I travel a lot. Uh, just being conscious of where I put the pen and how I, I behave with it was enough. And also the choice of pen I, I make when I travel is also a big factor in not get, getting found or getting having the, the, the pen found out and taken away from me. So um, you know that the TSA doesn't want it uh, you know what to do to um, make sure that you minimize the, the risk of it being found and also you know how to react if it happens. So with this, I would like to uh, thank you for watching and one thing I want to say is that I want to give you a chance to win one of our uh, best tactical pen. Uh, this is the Rebel pen. Uh, this pen is made of um, um, you know, machine aircraft grade aluminum. It's very sturdy looks elegant, uh, yet, um, I don't know if you can see this there in the video, but the, uh, the edge, I'll show you, actually, I'll, I'll uh, show you how it works, but basically the edge here is very, very sturdy, and it's made of uh, 
tungsten, tungsten carbide, which can be used to break open a car window in one strike. This is very effective. Um, this type of pen is the perfect pen for, for traveling. It, it's very, it's, it writes uh, very well and it can be concealed in the sense that uh, it just looks like a normal pen. You open it, you can write with it. If you open it again, you can, char you can change the, um, the ink refill. Here I do have a Fisher Space uh, ink refill in it. Uh, it's a great pen for all sort of things. So I want to give you a chance to win yours. Um, if you want to win your tactical pen, just follow the instructions below. I'll give you a link and uh, this way you have a good chance to win because who actually participate in those, uh, in those uh, giveaways. So I wish you um, uh, to be safe. I want to thank you uh, for watching this and hopefully this helped you a lot. If it did, please click on um, subscribe and click on helpful and um, you can also hit the, the, the button, the bell button as well, so you can be notified if you like this type of content. And at the Atomic Bear, we're very proud of what we're doing, of our mission. Uh, we're equipping people, uh, men and women, and even children to be uh, better prepared, to have better gear. Uh, our gear is affordable, and we're so proud of this mission. So if you like us, you like this video, and you like the whole thing, do not hesitate to subscribe, click helpful comments below. We love it. Until the next time, I want to say be safe, take care, and prepare to survive.